Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be discussing about the three levels of filter that we can apply in Power BI, which are adding filters to a visual, adding filters to an entire page, and adding filters to the entire report. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on my new videos on technical front. Filters are the ones that will help us view the data that we want to focus on. So for this video, I'm going to make use of the retail analysis sample PBIX file provided by Microsoft. You, you could see various kinds of visuals in the district monthly sales page and the new stores page. And by default, you can see all the data here without any filter except for the new stores page, which is going to have a filter on the store type, which is new store. Now select the visual that you want. So in this case, I'm going to select this particular visual. There you can see the fields in the filters pane. So whatever field that is added to the visualization pane gets automatically added to the filters pane. Also, you have an option to add new data fields here. In the x-axis, we have store number name and in the y-axis, we have this year's sales. Now I'm going to add district to the x-axis. Let me drag and drop district to the x-axis. You can see that district got automatically added to the filters pane. Say for example, I don't want district in the x-axis, but I want it only in the filters pane. Don't get it added to the visualization pane, rather directly drag and drop it to the filters pane. In the filters pane, you can see three fields which are district, store number name and this year sales whereas in the visualization you can see only two fields which are the store number name and this year sales. Let me now filter on district which is FD01 which is going to refresh this visual with the filter on district where the value is FD01. So what have we done here? We have applied a filter on a particular visual, whereas the other visuals remain unchanged. So this is called visual level filter. So adding fields in this section is going to add filters to that particular visual. Now let's look at the page filter. I've got multiple visuals on the same page. And I need to view all the visuals for a specific filter condition for which I'll go for page level filter. So in the same filters pane, go to filters on this page section. As you apply a filter in this particular section, you will see all the visuals in this page getting refreshed. In this case, I have applied the filter on district and the value to be FD01. So all the visuals are now showing me the reports for this particular district. One thing that you have to note here is that this filter but applied to each and every visual in this particular page only, but there is no impact on the new stores page or any other pages in this PBIX file. So this level of filter is called the page filter, where all the visuals in a particular page gets refreshed based on the filter condition. I need to apply a filter that should change the visuals in all the pages that is in district monthly sales, in overview, in new stores, and in all the pages that we have in this particular report. For which I'll go for the filter on all pages section. So whatever field that we add to this particular filter is going to be applied on each and every visual in all the pages. Currently we can see that the filter on all pages does not have any filter. In the new stores, in the district monthly sales and also in the overview. Now I'm going to add the district field to filter on all pages. When you look at the other pages, you can see the district filter on filter on all pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a filter on the district field where the value is going to be FD01 and FD02. Now we can see that 
all the visuals in this page got refreshed and the visuals in the other page also got refreshed based on these districts. This kind of filter is called report level filter. Hope you now understood the difference between the visual filter, page filter and the report filter. See you soon with my next technical video.